Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm trying my new software again, and let's see how this works. I'm going to read to you a newsletter I got from Dawn yesterday for October 9th. It has two messages in it. But the one, the trumpet by Bill Burns that you see here, is one of the regular contributors. Not every, he doesn't contribute as much as the others. But then besides his is two others that, uh, whose names I don't remember seeing before. All right, let's start with the trumpet by Bill Burns. This is what he received. Come into the presence of the Lord and into his strength. The revelation of his nature has been given to you prophetically so that you can be more than you have ever thought you could be. You can rise up into a spiritual climate, a spiritual habitation, and place a victory in your life. It is his desire for you to be victorious in all things. So come, come into his presence. Come with joy and expectation. Come and be all you can be in this season, and he will do the rest. The Lord knows our limitations. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot there was another one. All right, he did not get a, put a scripture with that. But we'll move on to Small Straws by Marsha Burns. Beloved, refuse to allow anything to undermine or destroy your belief. I know that you have wondered if your belief and expectation are enough to break through your challenges. And I tell you, yes, it is enough to sustain you. Do not waver in your belief that there is spiritual, invisible help available to you in every situation. Put your trust in me and be strong. I can testify to this. Living alone with somewhat of a physical weakness. Thorn in my side, I shall say. That God has chosen not to heal me of completely. When I need to do something that I wish I had a husband around to do, I go, well, Lord, you're my husband. Like hanging this curtain rod, okay? Or when the curtains fell and I needed help getting it back up. I said, I need you to give me the strength to do it and I need you to hold me up. Because of a little balance issue. Right? I'm not supposed to climb around on chairs. But when I need to, I just ask Jesus to hold me up. And by golly, he does. And I get it done. And I always claim it's supernatural help. Because my husband, the Lord, helped me. Put your trust in me and be strong, he says. The scripture put with it is Luke 17, 6. So the Lord said, If you have belief as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, Be pulled up by the roots and be planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Now, this is a word from the Lord given to a sister in Christ who just uses the initial CCM. And it is titled, Graduation is Coming, Received uh, or Perhaps Submitted to Dawn, I don't know which, October 7th, probably received, okay, because it's timed, 525 a.m. to 540 a.m. on October 7th. It says, graduation is coming after the exams or tests comes graduation. Rejoice, child, rejoice. I am your peace. You have nothing to fear. I made man to commune with me. And all who respond to this call will understand the deep truths of fellowship with me. I am your blessed assurance. My word is truth and it will prevail. For I have decreed that it is finished. I am coming to take my faithful ones with me. Be prepared. Things are going to happen fast now. Be prepared and know that I am with you always. 
till the end. I love you, Yahushua. And she signed it, your sister in Christ, CCM. This says NB. Now, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, perhaps it's another in another part of the world. The English they use is like a postscript. Not sure. She says, I also received this concerning the babies born with black eyes whose parents are jabbed. If I didn't tell you about this already, I have a video up on bitshoot.com under TRUTHER 2.0, all caps, TRUTHER 2.0. All about this. Quote, this is what she heard from the Lord. The black-eyed children will reveal what they are in time to come. I say they're soulless. As with all things, take this to the Lord in prayer. Brethren, may the peace of Christ Jesus be with you all. I don't... See, I tried to leave a link to one of my bit shoot videos before. And the whole video got taken down. And I got a strike for it. Or maybe it was just a warning. Because it was on this new channel. And I don't think I've gotten any strikes. I guess it was just a warning. You can't put links. Now other people do. Other people do. Well, they put links to their whole channel. Maybe not to a specific video. Um, I, I could try that. I could put a link to my channel. For those of you who haven't ever gone to bitshoot.com and typed in the search bar, Truther 2.0 to pull up my channel. It's very simple. That's how you do a search. Now, the scriptures she put with this are Psalm 8. This, I, this made me cry and brought back memories of a song that a former worship minister had written. He would write a song for every psalm. And our pastor would do a study. Every Wednesday night, our study was in Psalms. And for Psalm 8, I just started singing the song. It just came to my memory. And the Holy Spirit took over, and I just started praying in the Spirit. And this just overwhelmed me. The Psalm 8 goes like this. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all of the earth. Who have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength. Because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have ordained? What is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him? He loves us. For you have made him a little lower than the angels and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the work of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. Ah, or is that all? Maybe it's, yeah, I guess that's all. Sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the seas. Oh, Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. I actually know two songs written off of this. And I started singing the one that our worship minister wrote, and it went right into the other one that I had learned years before. It was just quite a time, y'all. So she puts John 19.30. And Matthew 28, 20 there, if you want to look those up. 
This one is titled, Woe Unto Them. I guess it was received October 8th and given to Ann Jackson. I don't know her either. As with all prayers, take them to the Lord if they don't, if you want confirmation, if you feel like you need confirmation. My Holy Spirit confirms that these are from the Lord. The word of the Lord, Ezekiel 33.3. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, verse 4, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him or her away, his blood shall be upon his or her own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning or heed, he didn't heed it. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh the warning, or, or heeds the warning, shall deliver his or her soul. This is what I heard in my spirit. A nation without God is a lost nation. My hand has been lifted off of that nation. They are wide open for prey. They are without covering or protection, and they are on their own. Those that belong to me, I will cover them that abide under my shadow, and they will be protected. Those that he that heard my watchman blow the trumpet or sounding the alarm, but still chose to reject my warnings, my wrath will be poured out upon them. Their soul will be required of me. Therefore, because the nation doesn't want me, I will send a sword and cut off that nation and in one day bring destruction upon it and they will know that I alone am God and there is no other. Woe unto them. Death and destruction will be their portion. To my faithful watchmen who have continuously sounded the trumpet, warning my people, I have not forgotten your labor of love. I am coming with my reward in my hand to reward you. Shalom. And that's the end of that message. I pray this has blessed you this day, brothers and sisters. And I pray that you will share it. Please check out my BitChute channel and watch that video on Black Eyed Children. Ken Peters Prophecy. He was a prophet. He used to be on the 700 Club. He actually died in his 50s, I think. But he saw, the Lord thought, let him see in a vision the tribulation. And he said it was after the rapture. He didn't know about two raptures. He didn't know there were two escapes. And he saw children that had been left behind in little baby seats sitting on curbs abandoned up to two years old that makes me wonder if the first escape isn't until these first babies that were born with black eyes already have to be two years old I hope not I pray this month is it I pray that this month, the month of October, the Feast of Tabernacles, according to the Enoch calendar or it's the Creator's calendar, or maybe both, that may be one and the same. I'm not sure because there's like four different calendars people use. One is the Hebrew calendar. This other one, I, it's the Creator's calendar or Enoch calendar. It says Tabernacles is, starts at the full moon. I think I mentioned it yesterday. So if it's not this Tabernacles, is it next? Next year? God, I pray not. We gotta get out of here so we can come back and stop anybody else from creating black-eyed kids, if you know what I mean. With that, I'll say bye for now. Let me pull this back up and say, uh, I'll talk to you later. Control F 
10. Let's see now, I have to stop it. 